Uh, the Gospel begins by saying that each year Jesus' parents went to Jerusalem for the Feast of Passover. Every year the parents of Jesus went up to Jerusalem for the Feast of Passover. It is a very important statement that tells about how human existence is somehow marked by very important passages and moments. One of the fundamental aspects of humanity, I'm not talking about religiosity, this is for all human beings. You can be religious, not religious, Christian, Muslim, atheist. One of the fundamental aspects of the cycle of human life is marked by celebrations, by feasts. That is why we all experience, and uh, I guess Filipinos are also very fond of celebrating anniversaries and birthdays and any kind of recurrence, uh, the company anniversary, uh, your wedding anniversary, and then the anniversary when you met, at least at the beginning, you know, after a few years you forget about it, but at the beginning you celebrate all those, you know, and especially men start forgetting about those anniversaries, so, so women have to remind them. It is very important for us to celebrate. And of course, Feasts are the very essence of religiosity and of Christianity. What we do every Sunday, that is why I want to speak about feasts, is precisely to celebrate. I don't ever say, I will say Mass. When I speak about the Mass, I always use the term, the verb, celebrate. I celebrate Mass, I don't say Mass. And the problem is, in our language, already there is uh, an indicator that we don't understand what we are doing. Because if I just uh, mention what I do as saying Mass, you just say one thing, but if you celebrate it, it's very different. And from your end, one thing is to hear Mass, one thing is to participate at Mass, one thing is to attend Mass, so there is a graduation, one thing is to celebrate Mass. What is the reason of our celebration? This is very important to understand what we do and why people don't get it anymore. Today is Santo Nino. I have a friend who was in uh, Cebu. He, he works in Cebu, he's from Manila. And in Cebu there is plenty of people today for the, not in these past days, for the Sinudo, Sinudo, right? And, uh, People come from all over the country. Why? Do they go there to celebrate the Santo Niño? What do you think? Is it about the Santo Niño? This friend of mine told me, I was there in my car, and uh, during the parade, so many people stormed by my car with all their hands dirty with paint, the whole car was covered with uh, handprints. And I tried to have it washed, but unfortunately it didn't work. So he had to have the whole car repainted. Pete, senor. About Pete, senor. I heard a comedian the other day, somebody uh, sent me this video and says that Filipinos are very smart. They have a lot of feasts. And he says, I go every year to Cebu because in Cebu there's a lot of partying going on during the Sinulog. I always get really, really drunk, but I get drunk in honor of the Santo Nino. <laughs> he says, 
And you know, we are very smart because we get drunk in honor of Santo Nino, but the Santo Nino doesn't know about it because he's a little boy. So by 7 p.m., 8 p.m., he's already asleep. And after he goes to sleep, that's the time when we drink. You cannot do that kind of thing if he is around. I know plenty of people who went to Cebu or at the Athenian. All our, our feasts are religious in nature. But why do we celebrate? Christmas wasn't a Christian feast. You know that we are not sure exactly on the date when Jesus was born. Probably Jesus wasn't born on the 25th of December. Huh? Sorry to break the news to you. Huh? Don't report me to the cardinal. We don't know exactly when Jesus was born. Perhaps during the, those days. But the 25th of December, just to give you an example, was the, one of the major feasts for pagans. It was the feast of one of their deities. They used to worship the sun. And because 25th of December was the feast of the sun, Christians said, we don't worship the sun because the sun in the heavens was created by the Son of God. So we worship not the sun as an element, we worship the Son of God. And so Christmas came to be as a feast on the 25th of December. From a pagan feast, we transformed it into a feast of faith. Even today, we celebrate the 25th because Jesus is born. This is very important for us to understand because what is happening now is instead that we are going back to paganism. We are going back to paganism, which means if before Christianity would use the pagan feasts and give them a meaning, a religious meaning. Now, what is happening is that we use religious feasts in a pagan way. What's the purpose of going and getting drunk in honor of the Santo Niño? The Santo Niño will grow up one day and he will tell you that that is wrong. But you know that already. To go to Chiapo. I'm not speaking about the religiosity. Of course, there is a devotion that is why we want. But we are lost in translation. And many times when you lose the meaning, the reason why you do things, things are meaningless. And when you lose the reason why you celebrate, there is no reason anymore to celebrate. That is why every year, and you hear this more and more, when we approach Christmas, people start saying, Christmas doesn't feel any more like before. The more you wait, you will see the more we go back to celebrating Christmas like a pagan feast. A few years back in London, in a preschool, they were making Christmas cards with Mary, Joseph, and the baby Jesus. And some of the children asked the preschool teachers, why are we drawing these characters? Who are they? They were Christmas cards. Why am I saying all this? It is important for us to know why we are here and why we are celebrating this feast. Because I don't know about you, but I can tell you something. I can tell this one and that outside here apart. And sometimes the one outside looks like much more fun than this one. Looks like, feels like it is not. 
That is why I decided to become a priest. That is why I am proud to be a Catholic, because this is the only place where I really celebrate life. And really, he is the only reason to celebrate life. Everything else after a while, after a while would be very disappointing. And so you ask yourself today, do I have a reason to celebrate Christ in my life? The first reading of today says that everyone rejoiced because a child is born for us. Can you find reasons to rejoice in God? Can you find reasons to celebrate Him?